in men one it is the most common in sporadic cases in the sporadic cases it is the it is the insulinoma which is the most common so it is second most common tumor the first let us discuss is a gastrinoma in this case i will discuss a gastrinoma first remember in men one it is the most common in sporadic cases in the sporadic cases it is the it is the insulinoma which is the most common so it is second most common tumor so most common tumor in case of men tumor men one otherwise average size is small so average size if you talk about it is less than 2 cm but there are very less chances that they can be what benign so they are considered always and always to be what malignant gastrinoma now gastrinoma may be associated with a lot of syndrome so they may be associated with zollinger ellison syndrome what do we mean by zollinger ellison syndrome what is this concept of zollinger ellison syndrome first of all this is associated with intractable intractable gastritis esophagitis gastritis esophagitis intractable gastritis and esophagitis is seen with zollinger ellison syndrome along with that when you go for patient's assessment you will say you will the patient is having diarrhea why this diarrhea happen students the diarrhea the concept of diarrhea is that because of the excess acid produced the acid will be released into the small intestine and the in small intestinal milieu will be neutralized and hence it is rendered functionless so there is a chance that this is going to be malabsorption or steatorrhea occurring on this background so intractable gastritis and esophagitis plus diarrhea what is so important about diarrhea that this diarrhea decreases on rail tube aspiration so on rail tube aspiration on rail tube aspiration there is a decrease in diarrhea there is decrease in diarrhea and this is again very 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 important which confirms that this was due to acid entering into the small intestine and neutralizing the you can say the pancreatic juices next is when you go for endoscopy on endoscopy because a patient presenting to you with dysphagia maybe gastritis esophagitis features of reflux diarrhea what are what is your obligatory or you can say what is your obligation you have to go for upper gi endoscopy when we talk about upper gi endoscopy you get to say one very important thing which is seen apart from this in menetrius syndrome or menetrius disease and what are they giant rugal folds so you get to see giant rugal folds point number 1 the second important point is you get to see ulcers you get to see ulcers and where do you get to see ulcers not only the stomach not only the stomach it may be present in d1 d2 d3 d4 even so d1 d2 d3 d4 even the proximal jejunum also d4 or proximal jejunum so such high and massive is the load of acid produced that is why it is going to be seen with these things now there is also one more question where are they often located so if you talk about location of gastrinoma location of gastrinoma answer is it is located at a point or at a you can say at a at a local geographical area which is defined by a point on the cystic duct so point on the cystic duct or you can say gall bladder the junction of neck with the body so the junction the junction of neck with the body and the third s the second and the third part of the duodenum before between second and the third part of the duodenum so if you see this triangle this triangle is the actually the place where majority or you can say virtually all the gastrinomas will occur and this triangle is known as pasaro triangle this is known as pasaro triangle so when we talk about pasaro triangle it is a place where majority of the neuroendocrine tumors in context with gastrinoma are present 
let us try to understand how you confirm the diagnosis if you talk about the diagnosis so you have to see elevated gastrin levels elevated gastrin levels elevated gastrin levels plus increase basal acid outflow also basal acid outflow more than 15 milli equivalents more than 15 milli equivalents per hour or more than 5 milli equivalents per hour for post vagotomy status patients so post vagotomy even if it is 5 milli equivalents per hour this is too much because you have destroyed the vagal trunk then how the pen the, the parietal cells are getting the impulse answer is the parietal cells are getting the impulse because of the tumor that is going for unregulated secreted of gastrin so increase gastrin levels with increase basal acid outflow now try to understand what is the cutoff for this gastrin levels also if you talk about the cutoff cutoff is level level more than so cutoff is level more than 1000 picogram per ml or students if it is between 100 to 1000 picogram per ml you have to go for secretin secretin stimulation test secretin stimulation on secretin stimulation test 2 milli equivalents per, inter, per per kg you give the secretin you will see that increase in the gastric level uh, increase in the gastric level occurs so increase in gastric levels increase in gastric levels by more than more than 200 to 300 picogram per ml above baseline above baseline this is very 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 important and ultimately this is diagnostic also the next is so with this we confirm the diagnosis next is the management of gastrinoma the management of gastrinoma is simple and straightforward and it says that yes excision excision needs to be done excision needs to be done and not only do we excise you also have to go for plus lymph node dissection lymph node dissection in that paradiodinal area so lymph node dissection in the paradiodinal area or you can say passaro strangle why it is so why it is so that we rely on passaro strangle yes because these pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors which are suspicious of gastrinomas they may be submucosal and you have to go for manual you can say feeling of that tumor yeah manual feeling of the tumor so can you see digital manipulation we are doing a digital manipulation here can you see after opening the duodenum after opening the duodenum you are doing a digital manipulation and you are trying to feel that small duodenal you can say gastrinoma so therefore the lymphatic dissection is also very important because lymph nodes can be misinterpreted for gastrinoma or gastrinoma can be misinterpreted as lymph node and left off so this is very 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 important and this is a typical appearance this is a typical appearance of a gastrinoma so complete lymph nodal dissection has to be done in that area so digital you can say feel of this tumor is very important